Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison of the full size XDM, the XDM Compact 3.8, and the little tiny XDS. So I'll briefly run through a few of the major features on the XDMs. First off, they come in 9mm, which is this guy right here, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 45. A couple of major features, there's a drop safety which you can't see, it's striker fired, it's got this trigger safety, which looks just like a Glock. It's got a cocked indicator, which shows up as a metal dot right there. It's got a loaded chamber indicator right along the top here. One of my favorite features on the gun is the grip safety in the back. It's also got an ambidextrous mag release, a very high capacity magazine, and they also were very cheap. They cost about maybe $25 or $30, which is really good for, you know, a, a magazine compared to like my H&K where the magazines are 50 to 60 bucks a pop. You get three different back straps with it, which you can swap out by removing this pin here. It's got a match grade barrel. I don't know if it's actually better or not. Overall, these are very reliable, very good guns. I personally consider them to be better than Glocks, not from a functionality standpoint, where I think they're equal, but from an ergonomic standpoint, where this just feels better, it lines up better when I put it up to my eye, and overall I just like it a lot better. So the XDM series are kind of the upgraded versions of the original XDs. The XDSs are similar to the original XDs, and they don't have as many features, but they do have a couple bonuses. So the first thing you'll notice, since this is a carry gun, is it's got this aggressive grip texture. It's got the same swappable back straps with the pin. It comes with two different ones. It's got the grip safety, which is very, very important to me. Again, it's got the ambidextrous mag release, the loaded chamber indicator, It does not have the cocked indicator that the XDM has. One huge benefit of this thing that I really like is the fiber optic front sight, which comes out as red. Not looking down the business end, you can see it like that. It comes with both a red and a greenish yellow. You can swap them out if you want. So this is a real high quality carry gun. It costs about 400, maybe $450. I just bought this to replace my MMP shield right here. If you ask why would I replace the shield when I already have it, well, I figure I can probably sell it, you know, with the laser and the holster at maybe a hundred dollar loss, maybe a little bit more. It comes down to the grip safety. I think this feature is very important when you carry a gun with a loaded chamber. Some people don't believe that, but I think it's a really smart safety feature. The other thing is I overall like the ergonomics of the XDM a little bit better. The shield is more smooth. We've got the Crimson Trace laser grip on here. I haven't gotten my one for the XDM yet. So if you don't buy the stripped down essential kit, the XDM comes with a lot of nice bells and whistles. This one has an aftermarket red dot side that I installed. You can catch my video where I dremeled it off very crappily through the link above or the description below. So the 4.5 inch XDM and 9mm has specs about the following. 7.6 inches long, 1.2 inches wide, 5.75 high, 29 ounce weight, 19 capacity of 9mm, and it comes with black or stainless slides. 3.8 compact is very similar, shorter barrel, cut down grip. The specs for this guy are 6.75 inches long, 1.2 inches wide, 4.75 high, 28 ounces unloaded. It comes with a 13 round flush fit mag like this, and also 19 round extended mags to give you the same capacity as the full size gun. Again, this one comes in black and stainless. Finally, the Itty Bitty XDS. This thing comes in at 6.3 inches long, 0.9 inches wide, which is one of the big selling points, 4.4 inches high, a 23 ounce weight, it comes with a seven round capacity of the standard magazine, or eight with the extended ones. I really like the extended ones because you can see my pinky's not really doing anything. Again, these come in black or stainless for a carry gun. I don't think it's really smart to have stainless unless you're trying to brandish it, which is not usually a good idea. As you can see on screen, there's a comparison between the sizes and some of the features between the XDMs and the XDSs. They're really similar. They're both good guns, but they're just a little bit different. Boo, boo, boo. So beyond the sizes, my overall thoughts on the XDMs, the XDs, or the XDSs, they're all just great guns. An XDM is going to run you about $500 to $600 for a really good gun. I find them really easy to shoot, they're comfortable in your hand, and they're very ergonomic. To me, unlike the Glock, I think Glocks feel like crap, even though they're reliable, accurate, good guns. When I take one of these and line it up, I find that when I put up the sight picture, 
it draws right to my eye. It's a little bit higher than some other pistols, which I really like. I'm not gonna go into saying if the recoil is better or worse, but I find that this pistol, at least for me, fits really well. I like the grip, I like the functionality. I pretty much like everything about it. And for 500 to $600, it's a great gun. So these things are easy to disassemble and maintain. You slide off the top, you clean out the barrel, maybe the feed ramps, they, can't, they come polished from the factory. So the mag's coming at about $25 or $30, which is very good compared to the German guns or some of the FNs that cost a friggin' fortune. So I originally had an XD compact and 45. It was a really gun, it worked great, but I wanted to kind of diversify and I didn't have a lot of money at the time, so I sold it to a friend of mine. It was also a wider carry gun, which I didn't really need. It didn't work well for me because I'm a lanky guy and you know, something that doesn't blend to my frame doesn't really work very well. I eventually picked up this XDM 4.5 inch 9mm. I fell in love with this gun in USPSA production. It also works really great for 3 gun where the 9mm power factor doesn't hurt you. You can just blow through a whole stage or, you know, maybe with two mags. 19 is one of the highest mag capacities of any pistol. So after I got the full size XDM, I got this 3.8 inch compact for my wife because she wanted to get a little bit more into shooting. So I got her this XDM. You know, this is another a good gun. This fits her hand a little bit more. She didn't like the front heaviness, you know. This is what she wanted and she liked my main size one. So I got this and this gun has, again, been really great. So recently I got this XTS for carry. I haven't really been carrying for a while, but I figured I should practice with it, get used to it. I'm gonna put another Crimson Trace embedded laser sight like I had in the shield on this thing. It should be a very good carry gun, and it should work really well for me since I'm, again, lanky and it's really hard to avoid printing. I like these things so much, I've toyed around with the idea of buying a five and a quarter inch nine millimeter or a 40 Smith & Wesson for USPSA production or limited. You know, they're just, again, good guns and they're not that expensive. You know, as a wrap up, I highly recommend you try one of these things if you haven't. You know, a lot of ranges have them to rent or you might know someone who has one. They're just really great guns. And if you pick up a Glock and think, wow, this just feels terrible exactly how I did, this is a really great alternative. You know, you can get an MMP or something like this. I choose this over a Glock, MMP, whatever the hell Walther makes, whatever brightest thing is, any day of the week. It's just a good gun, it's not that expensive, there's some aftermarket mods out there, and it just gets the job done. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love interacting with the community and you know helping people out and spreading my love for firearms and everything else. If you did enjoy this, please subscribe to my channel, and as always, thank you for watching.